Welcome whiskey aficionados, I'm Trevor. This is review number 35. And uh, tonight we're having a look at uh, Cask Isla. Here we have the box, the bottle. I've just poured myself some about five minutes ago just to let it, uh, let it sit. Um, it's an independent bottling. Uh, it's a small batch, single malt, bottled at 46%. And uh, an independent uh, bottling from uh, A.D. Rattray. So, founded by Andrew Rattray in 1868. Um, and I should say, by the way, thank you very much to uh, Bart Burgers. Thank you, Bart, from the Whiskey Shop. That's the whiskeyshop.co.nz, uh, where you can actually pick this up, I believe, for a reasonable price uh, for supplying the, uh, the sample for tonight's um, review. So, thank you, Bart. Much appreciated. Um, as I say, so it's an independent bottling, and the independent bottlers, they seem to be a little bit more prominent, they're coming on, um, and it is uh, producing some interesting, in interesting whiskies, you know. Um, we're not sure about the base uh, spirit in this one, but the independent bottler itself, um, Rattray, got going in uh, 1868, initially importing uh, Italian spirits, uh, olive oil, that type of thing. Um, so yeah, the, the, there's no colouring here. You know, I'd say it's a, it's a pale straw colour. Um, on the nose, I mean, sometimes with the, the Isla uh, reviews, I really want to say there's peat followed by some smoke, followed by some peat, and a little bit of smoke. But the secret is um, taking your time let it sit and try and get past the smoke. So what else is there? What else can you smell? Block out the smoke. What else is there? In this one, there's peat and smoke, peat and smoke, followed by fruity vanilla. So you can get the, the sweetness, the fruit, the vanilla, that sort of smell coming through. So being an Isla, I think the base spirit um, it could be something like a Port Charlotte, it could be uh, something like a, a Beaumore, it could be a, a, a young sort of Lagavulin or Ardbeg. We don't know and sometimes that's the beauty about uh, the independent bottlers. Um, I would suggest it's a 7-8 year old, um, potentially Ardbeg type of, of spirit. Who knows? Who knows? We, we won't know either uh, because they keep it fairly closely guarded. Okay, so let's let's try it on the on the palate. The first, well, the first thing I'd say is because I had a Talisker, an Ardbeg, a Finlagen in the last sort of ten days, just to try and establish where I thought this sort of sat. This is punchy. It's it's bold, strong. It's got that it's got that burnt smoke flavour on the mouth with an oiliness. Um, so you've certainly got got the smoke, the peat. Obviously, you get them with the olives, but you've got a sweet and sour. Um, there's a little hint of spice in there. I can feel that tingling on the tongue, um, and there's an oily burnt smoke. A little bit like if you were smoking a robusto or a, you know a good cigar. Um, it's nearly like the taste it leaves after you've smoked the cigar. So not everybody's taste and almost unpleasant, but there's something about it that brings you back for more. Um, we'll try again. Probably a little bit of white pepper is the spice. Um, the finish, it's, it's a fairly quick sort of oily type finish, smoky very slightly bitter um, and if you like the Islas you know if you're into Lefroy, uh, if you're into Art Bag, if you're into, uh, into the Islas you will like this. Um, I would recommend that you would get yourself uh, a sample or a bottle as I say if, if you're in New Zealand you can get it at thewhiskeyshop.co.nz uh, if not check out your local area and see where you can get it. I'm going to hit this up um, with a sort of a low 80s it's not to my personal taste, 
Uh, Alan, by the way, water. Let's talk about water. Um, it's bottled at 46%. Um, I like it neat. You may wish to bring it down to 42, 41, 40% with a few tablespoons of, of water. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it can enhance the flavor, it can improve the flavor, but the main thing is it's your personal choice. So you do it the way you want to do it. Um, I'm going to give this an 82, which I, th I think is fair. 82 out of 100, it's a good score. Um, now guys, subscribe to the channel. Um, we're doing, at the moment, as, as you'll have picked up, we're doing about two a week. Uh, so subscribe because an exciting thing is happening, happening next week in review 36. I'm going to look at my first bourbon. Um, we're not starting off with the absolute base, we're starting off a reasonable nice uh, Buffalo Trace. So this is 45%. Uh, I love this little sample bottle, it's even got its own little little cork, which is, which is a nice little touch. So obviously a replica of the, the larger bottle. Uh, there's about 50, 50 to 60 mils in there, 50 mils, that's enough for two, two samples. And that's going to be in the next review, so subscribe. Let's hear some feedback guys, I really appreciate it. In the meantime, be safe, drink safe, quality over quantity every time. And cheers.